Coming up on Around Kern County, Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services wants residents to know they have resources for families with loved ones battling mental illness. We're giving you a look at the different services and how they're providing support across our community. And the Kern River Bike Trail Extension is finally complete. Details on the newly finished path when Around Kern County starts now. Now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're beginning today with an exciting job opportunity at the Kern County Sheriff's Office. While KCSO continues to hire for sworn positions, there are also many opportunities for civilians to fill a number of roles. Most recently, KCSO is seeking a public information officer. This job entails sharing the department's story with residents on everything from social media to news outlet interviews. This person will also assist the department in their recruitment efforts. Qualifications for this position include a bachelor's degree from an accredited university, four years of related job experience, and a valid California driver's license. To apply, please visit governmentjobs.com slash career slash Kern Co. Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services continues to support residents battling mental illness. But the department wants our community to know they also provide resources to family members of loved ones who are struggling. Family support is so important. And I want to point out not just family support, but support persons as well. Um, they play a vital role. It's a vital component in mental health treatment. Um, when a loved one has that support, they're stable in housing, they have an individual that's loving them, supporting them and guiding them, the outcomes for a positive outcome is going to increase immensely. Getting somebody at behavioral health to recognize that our daughter needed to be inpatient for a while. She was actually inpatient at Crestwood for a year. It saved her life. So for family members and support people in their lives that are experiencing a mental health um, illness, we have a family advocate that is part of Kern BHRS. So the family advocate can really um, work closely with the family member and support persons in their life. They can provide psychoeducation um, for their loved ones, what's going on with their mental illness, how they can support them, um, and so forth. So that person is always available. So support groups really, uh, really helps a lot to feel hopeful. Locally in our community, we have NAMI that provides support groups for families and loved ones um, so that they can, you know, if they're struggling, their loved one's struggling with um, schizophrenia or with depression, there are groups there where they can, you know, lean on others and learn from others and so that they can really provide the support that their loved ones need. There are things that you can do. You can learn to better communicate with your loved one. Learning learning about the illness. It's not a big mystery. Um, and just having faith that it will get better. Um, recently, we, with Kern BHRS, um, had a family orientation series. Um, and it talked about when your loved one is placed in an inpatient facility, what happens there? How can we support them while they're in the inpatient facility? Don't be afraid to ask for the services. Don't be afraid to come down to, to the mental health department and say, look, something needs to give. Don't be afraid to go to the family advocate. You have a loved one that may need some help. There's a few avenues that you can take. One would be to contact our crisis hotline, which is the number across the screen. Or if it's not an immediate need, but you know your loved one is in need of additional support, especially during COVID, we've seen a rise in depression and anxiety and other mental illness. They can go to our Access and Assessment Center and get screened for services. And if they qualify, we'll go ahead and do an assessment and, and link them to a team for what their needs are. So it might be one of our outpatient teams, but if they need a higher level of care, we're gonna get them to those services that they need. We're sharing some exciting news for local cyclists. The Kern River Bike Trail extension is officially complete. This week, Kern County Public Works held a ribbon cutting to celebrate the grand opening of this extension. People gathered at Buena Vista Recreational Area for the ceremony, which was followed by an inaugural bike ride. And so this all started in 1976. 
And so here we are in 2022, and the bike trail extension is now complete, linking Buena Vista recreation area to Lake Ming. And so what we've, what we've accomplished here is now the largest municipal bike trail. The paved bike path spans 6.3 miles, beginning at the Kern River and ending at Buena Vista Recreational Area. To view an entire map of the trail, please visit kernpublicworks.com slash walk dash Kern. And Kern County Public Works is also helping residents with a little trash talk. Our county is switching to a three cart system to comply with Senate Bill 1383 which mandates food scraps get tossed right into your green bin, along with garden trimmings like lawn clippings. Your blue bin continues to be for recyclables like newspapers, glass bottles, and aluminum cans. And your tan or gray bin continues to be for trash that goes straight into the landfill, like wrappers, disposable gloves, and fabric. For more information, you can visit kernpublicworks.com slash senate-bill-1383. And we're ending today with something our community waits for all year. Take a look at these gorgeous almond blooms popping up around Kern County. According to our 2019 Kern County Crop Report, almonds and their byproducts ranked as the number one commodity based on gross value here in Kern County. Our region has more than 236,000 acres of almonds and 90% are grown on family farms. The Almond Board of California's Almond Almanac for 2020-2021 also ranked Kern County's almond production as second in the state. The reason why Kern County is such a great place to grow this healthy, tasty snack is due to our Mediterranean climate. Did you know California is one of five places in the world where almonds can be grown? Even more, our state produces about 80% of the world's almonds and 100% of the U.S. commercial supply. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you right back here next week.